In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the image generator using Ludo.ai. There are plenty of options that you could use in order to make the most out of it. I usually use the icons in order to generate icons for the game prototypes that I would like to try it out. Let's say the game is already under development and you would like to explain what the game is about. If it was a racing game, for example, you could just type racing, cars, and you can click on Start New Generation. As you can see here, there are plenty of options. You also have the ability to generate similar images. In this case, I like this icon. I'm just going to click on Generate Similar Images, and there's a chance that I can also change the colors and the options that I would like to generate. Let's say I choose this color, this one, and this one, and I can click on Start New Generation. As you can see here, there's a better option with the colors that I've already chosen. You can add it to your favorites, or you can download it. There are also other options that you could use the image generator for. If you want to have inspiration for the gameplay that you're already ideating using Ludo.ai, and you would like to have some inspirational images about the game idea, let's choose a game idea that is already in the market which could be related to the game that I'm ideating. I could go for Helix Jump. And in this case, I'm just going to remove all the options that I've added with the filters, and I'm going to click on Start New Generation. You could have images that are generated based on the idea. We could add, let's say, a food to it. In the case that the game idea I'm generating has to do with the same mechanic as Helix Jump, but instead of the ties, it's going to be food. So, I can click on Start New Generation again. As you can see here, there are plenty of cool concepts. I can iterate on this one again. Here you go. You have something interesting. You can either add it to your game concept, or you can download it. And there's the last option, which could also be used for the gameplay in this case, and could be also used for inspiration for your game idea. Let's see, if your game idea is about shooter, alien, and spaceship. Sorry, I just have to remove this one and click Generate again. As you can see, you can have inspirational artwork about your game idea before you even ideate it. And that's pretty interesting to have some sort of mood board for the game idea before you start prototyping. And that's pretty much it. That's how I usually use the image generator in order to have some sort of inspiration to my game ideas.